Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone at night? So let's not keep you in the dark. Rules around flying at night have changed over the last several years, but I think the FAA has settled into the rule that will most likely not change for some time. Part 107.29, titled Operation at Night, outlines the requirements. 107.29A states that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft system at night unless, one, the remote pilot in command of the small and unmanned aircraft has completed an initial knowledge test or training as applicable under 107.65 after April 6, 2021. And two, the small unmanned aircraft has lighted anti-collision lighting visible for at least three statute miles and has a flash rate sufficient to avoid a collision. You could reduce the intensity if it would be in the interest of safety to do so. Item B states the same requirements for civil twilight, which is the period of time that begins 30 minutes before official sunrise and ends at official sunrise, and the period of time that begins at official sunset and ends 30 minutes after official sunset, except for Alaska, which uses the Air Almanac to indicate civil twilight times. Part 107.31 is still applicable at night as well. This part requires that you maintain visual line of sight of your drone. This means that you need to be able to see the lights on your drone and be able to maintain situational awareness. You need to be able to obtain FAA authorization in controlled airspace, which is 107.41, and you have to comply with 107.39, which covers operation over human beings, as well as other parts of part 107. Aside from the regulations, there are things to be aware of at night. Your vision is subject to limitations such as blind spots and illusions at night. So the best way to maintain situational awareness is to scan across the sky and don't stare at an object or lights. It takes time for your eyes to adjust to night vision after being exposed to light. So you should wait about 30 minutes if you were exposed to bright lights before starting your night flight. Other challenges at night are autokinesis, which is a kind of phantom motion that is caused by staring at a single point of light for more than a few seconds. After about eight to 10 seconds, the light appears to move on its own and there's fascination or fixation. This illusion occurs when pilots ignore orientation cues and they fix their attention on a goal or an object. And there's reversible perspective illusion. And this is an inability to determine if an object is moving toward you or away from you. At night, another aircraft may appear to be moving away from you when it is, in fact, approaching you. Another one is size or distance illusion. Dimly lit objects uh, appear to be further away and brightly lit objects appear to be closer. And finally, there's flicker vertigo. A light flickering at a rate between four and 20 cycles per second can produce unpleasant reactions such as nausea, vomiting, or vertigo. Proper scanning techniques at night can prevent pilots from getting flicker vertigo. So can you fly your drone at night? Yes, the FAA has developed regulations that allow drone pilots to fly at night with the proper training and equipment, such as an anti-collision light. Keep in mind that you still need to comply with all rules and regulations. For recreational flights, refer to your CBO's safety guidelines around night operations. This is required per USC 44809. Your pro tip is flying at night can be a lot of fun and you can get some amazing night shots from a drone. But before flying at night, make sure that you've had the required recurring training and remember that there are unique challenges that come with flying at night. Also keep in mind that maintaining visual line of sight and ensuring that you're not flying over people can be more difficult at night. If you're wanting additional training before trying a night flight, UAV Coach has various options to help. Drone Pilot Ground School will help you obtain your Part 107 certificate, and Drone Pilot Skill Builder is an online course to help level up your skills and build confidence. 
Or if you'd rather have hands-on training with a drone flight instructor like me, we have instructors across the country and we'll have links for that below. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. So thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next time.